Hey, what's up, guys? So I solve is a simple question called rotate function. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, basically you have a ray and uh, there are k portions which is uh, clockwise, and you can define rotation function which f f of k becomes zero times a uh, k uh, k zero and k one up to a minus k n, and then return the maximum value of zero one and a uh, minus one. Uh, here you can check the example. Uh, right, so for example, is the first one is zero, one, two, three. The second one is zero, one, two, three, but you need to shift it, right? You count zero, six. So basically, you need to shift uh, from uh, the, the, oh, so zero become here, it become here, and the one become uh, zero. So basically, everything shift to, uh, to right, okay? Uh, right, everything shift to right, and uh, so there are four of them. Okay, and need to return the maximum. Okay, so the uh, the magnitude of, of this n is a uh, ten to the five, right? So if you create everything, which may take n square, uh, should not pass. Okay, so the idea is that using the recursion. Uh, so hopefully, uh, this probably simple that you can see there should be a recursion. So let's consider f zero. Okay, so f zero. Let's say our array is a zero, a one, a two, up to a n minus one. So f zero will be uh. 0 times a0, 1 times a1, up to a minus 1, a n minus 1, OK? OK, so let me just uh, maybe write more terms so that uh, uh, so that uh, you uh, you guys can feel uh, easy to, to follow. OK, so I can also write as a k, a k, k from 0 to a minus 1, OK? Now I can consider f of one, which is a, uh, so everything shifted by right, okay? So I think it should be, right, so which a zero become here, and a one become two, and also the, uh, okay, so what is the first term, right? Zero and the n minus one. So the final term will be a zero, a one, n minus two, right? So n minus one, n minus two, okay? So let's consider its difference. So why is f1 minus f0? So, right, its difference. So let's consider a0, right? So a0, there is one turn in a0 and the one turn in a1. Okay, so you get a0 plus a1. Uh, up to what? Up to this turn also, this a minus two also has the turn, a minus two. Okay, but the minus a minus one, a1, a minus one. Okay, all these are plus. This guys also uh, only the least term is different minus right because there's no a n minus one term in, in the second okay so this is will be your answer okay so let's massage it so I can just massage it as a zero a n minus two uh plus a n minus one minus an a n minus one okay so notice that this is a sum of a zero up to a n minus one. Okay, so these guys are invariants. Okay, so you get F1 minus F0, which is, a, let's call it S, which is a summation minus N, A, N minus one. Okay, so you can easily check that if you do F of two minus F1, then you get the same thing, right? You get S, which minus N, A, N minus two, and you can check F of three minus F of two, but we S minus N, A, N minus three, and keep going. Okay, so this is very stupid, right? So you can, once you get f of zero, right? You just update your f of one to be f of zero plus s minus n a minus uh, n minus one, and you just keep going. You can define your f of two to be f of one plus you know the f of s minus n a n minus two. Okay, so you only need one number f of zero, and then you keep do the updating. Okay, so you can compute s, right? So just a uh, simple. Uh, simple update and then you can re you can initialize your answer to be let's say f of zero and uh, in each step you just uh, maximize the answer with respect to f of n okay so now the code is very easy define a uh, s which is sum for everything and the uh, length and you first compute f of zero right so answer initializes to be f zero and then there is a value which is f of zero and then you go back for each turn your value equals value plus some minus n times this. Okay, so which is exactly this, right? So 
this is your value, your value minus sum minus n minus some particular term defined to be the next values, right? So this is a value equals value plus sum minus n, and the answer defined to be maximum answer value. Okay, so that's a simple update. It solved the problem. That's it. <laughs> okay, so just a simple. So I think this problem you can call it coding, right? But pure just uh just algebraic, uh just algebraically you can solve it uh, uh by definition. See you guys in the next videos.